All right, folks, it's time to stand up for social justice. And in the spirit of standing up for social justice, let's talk about one of the most racist organizations that has ever existed on the face of the earth, certainly in this country, and that is Planned Parenthood. Now, notice this. I'm looking at an article that is in NPR, yes, National Public Radio News, that actually says Planned Parenthood mobile clinic will take abortion to red state borders. Yes, folks. In other words, any state that has declared abortion as being illegal as a result of the Supreme Court doing God's work is now going to have at its borders a mobile Planned Parenthood center so that they can help kill black babies. And that's the reality of it. Let me read the beginning of the article. It says, with a growing number of patients in states that now prohibit abortion traveling for the procedure, Planned Parenthood says it will soon open its first mobile abortion clinic in the country in southern Illinois. Yeah, go figure. Illinois of all places, right? Our goal is to reduce the hundreds of miles that people are having to travel now in order to access care. Care, it's a funny word that they use there, right? We'll just leave that be. And meet them where they are. President of Planned Parenthood of the St. Louis region and Southwest Missouri actually said this in an interview with NPR. It says the mobile uh, clinic will begin offering consultations and dispensing abortion pills later this year. It will operate within Illinois where abortion remains uh, legal, but will be able to travel closer to neighboring states' borders, reducing the distance many patients travel for the procedure. Folks, let me just make something clear. These people that say that they are standing up for the rights of abortion, they're racists, okay? I promise you, they are total racist. Let me explain why. If you're concerned about social justice and you're really worried about the safety of black lives, and you care about black lives and you know that black lives matter? Well, let me just go over one simple statistic that hopefully will open up your eyes. 3% of the childbearing population in this country, folks, that's 3% are black women, yet they account for 50% of the abortions in this country. We are killing black people. I'm not going to say we. I say we in the sense that we're in the United States of America, but they are killing black people at a terrible rate right now, at least prior to all of these new laws coming to an effect as a result of the Supreme Court doing God's work. That means 1,500 black babies a day are being killed and they're fighting for your rights. Yeah, they're fighting for the rights of these little babies. They want them to have a better life. So let's just completely tear them apart in the womb. That's the way they're thinking, folks. And let me just explain one other thing by these mobile cars that they're doing, these sort of mobile units that they're doing, putting at the border. That is Planned Parenthood's MO. I don't know if you noticed this, but they don't put Planned Parenthood's in white neighborhoods. They never do. They put Planned Parenthood's in black and Hispanic neighborhoods. And if they do put them in white neighborhoods, they put them at freeway exits so that people that are living in the hood might actually be able to have some easy access to an area that's a little bit nicer outside of where they live so that they can have a little bit more privacy when they choose to kill their baby. And I know that this sounds harsh. I know that this sounds difficult, but I'm telling you the truth and the truth hurts sometimes. Folks, it's time to stand up for black lives because black lives matter. And the way we stand up for black lives is we speak against the evil that organizations like Planned Parenthood is doing. Remember, the founder of Planned Parenthood founded Planned Parenthood as a tool to eliminate the black race. And if you don't believe that, look up Margaret Sanger. You will learn a lot of very disgusting facts about that evil human being who right now is paying the price for all of the evil that she's done. The reality of it is it's time for us to open up our eyes and to stand up and fight for these precious little babies they mean everything to God's heart, and they certainly mean everything to mine. It is time to stand up and tell the truth. God bless you guys.